Hey, what's up? This is Chris from The Longest Way. Uh, it's November 10th and I'm home. I'm in Bad Nindorf in uh, the north of Germany in my home village, or they call it a town, but it's like a really, really small town. And uh, I'm here uh, for like, I don't know, two, three weeks. I haven't booked a plane ticket back to uh, Kazakhstan yet, but I'm here to promote my new book, which just came out in Germany. Uh, it's called uh, Neuschweinstein. It's about me um, becoming part of a Chinese tour group you know, like with a tour bus and lots of selfies and all that. It's a nice little book and uh, you can't really make a book without like talking about it. So I came back to like, I don't know, appear on TV, radio and uh, do some like book things where like I talk about the book and uh, actually read from the book for people. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. And uh, after that, I guess I'm going to go back to Kazakhstan, find the caboose. She's parked in Chimkent. And then see if I can get into Uzbekistan, which is kind of hard right now because they just lost their president. <laughs> you know, like the estates got a president and they lost their president. And they're going to try to find a new one. And during that time, they don't want foreigners in the country. At least, like, they don't give out visas. So it's all a bit complicated. But, like, right now, I'm here. And uh, yesterday, November 9th, was my 35th birthday. So, yay. Yay to me. But like that birthday fucking sucked. Like seriously, I wake up in Heidelberg after like a book thing. Uh, it's like seven in the morning and I'm thinking like, yay, birthday, what could happen? And I turn on Twitter and I'm like, no, like, what, what the fuck did you do? Like seriously, you know, like protest, vote, establishment, fear, angst, all that, I get it, but Trump, for president, seriously, like that's that's really embarrassing. That's embarrassing me. I, I'm not even American, but like I'm embarrassed being white, male, Christian, heterosexual. I'm, I'm fucking embarrassed for you, for me, for for everyone. For the like the whole situation is just terrible. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Uh, then I got drunk because you know it was my birthday and it fucking sucked. So uh, I, I had Jägermeister in the morning. And then I got this idea that I was thinking, it could be worse. You know, maybe, I'm in, maybe it's wishful, wishful thinking, maybe I'm an optimist, whatever, but like, it could be worse. It could be uh, Clinton, who I know is not perfect, but is a regular politician, a regular person, unlike Trump. It could be Clinton edging the election, you know, popular vote goes to Trump, whatever. Trump keeps talking about rigged elections, his supporters go nuts, and then you have like four years of a divided country where a lot of people, they don't have trust in democracy anymore. And, and him like, I don't know, just going on about like all the terrific things he would do, you know, like, like a demagogue does, promising stuff that is totally unrealistic. And then after four years, what would you have? You would either have him on steroids or like a worse Trump, or you would have, which is even scarier, like the 2.0 version, I don't know, Ivanka Trump. Something like that. Like somebody with the same borderline white supremacist mindset, but smart and like, you know, polished. Like somebody that doesn't go about like saying stuff like grabbing people by the pussy or like talking about his penis. Um, and that is really scary. Like kind of uh, luring even the parts of the Republicans that are still conservative, that are still like Christian, even like luring them, maybe even grabbing from the Democrats. And, and but like still having the same kind of mindset as Trump. And now the only thing we got is Trump. And I don't know, that guy is impulsive, easily manipulated. He's going to, I don't know, I think he's going to get eaten alive by Putin. He's going to get eaten alive by the Chinese. That's going to be just embarrassing to look at. But at least what I think might be the silver lining in all of this is that if everything goes right, you know, he has no excuse not to deliver on his promises. You know, the whole demagogue thing where he goes like, I'm going to build you a wall and the Mexicans are going to pay for it. Really? I'm going to like renegotiate all kinds of trade deals. Really? Like that's going to be that simple. And like the NATO thing, people are going to pay him. <laughs> you know, what about his bases? Maybe he's going to lose his bases or whatever. I'm not saying like he's going to fail at everything, but a lot of his promises are going to implode. And um, yeah, maybe that's going to show some people what, you know, th this whole thing like a demagogue really is. What I'm really scared of is that some whatever well-meaning person, you know, uh, goes about like preventing Hitler 
and assassinating that guy or like attempting it. If that happens, that's gonna that's gonna really suck. That's gonna just make everything so much worse. What we need is Trump give him a chance and then implode on his promises. That's like the only good thing that that could happen out of all of this. But still, it's it's a travesty. It's a tragedy. It's it's really embarrassing. And um, yeah, I'm 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 unhappy <laughs> about all this. I'm thinking. I used to live in the States, in Wichita, Kansas, in 1999, standard high school thing, and I really liked it there. Like, people are nice in the Midwest. You got lots of, like, you know, like, kind of Bible Belt Christians, but they're nice people, actually. You know, like, uh, they're, they're generous, they're hospitable, they're kind. What I did notice is that they don't know much about the world. It's like the United States is enough for them. And, you know, you got, like, news in Kansas, you got lots of tornado warnings. That's stuff that people care about you get lots of like weird news about like violence uh, where, wherever but like they don't know much about europe they don't know anything about the rest of the world like i remember in 1999 people going like oh chris i'm so sorry about your family and i'm like what happened and what they were saying is in in the kosovo and former yugoslavia you had a war so for them it looked like oh that's also europe that means chris's family is in danger kind of gives you like an an insight into how little some of those people there know. But even then, I like them and, and I always felt like they're, most of them are really kind. But now I'm thinking, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, maybe like your angst, maybe your fear has really taken over. I don't know how to talk to you. Like when I talk to them and they're like, all oh, Muslims are bad or whatever, I can't even get to them. I always sound like a libtard, you know, like somebody who's like really naive and like an idealist who thinks like maybe not all Muslims are bad. They don't even listen to me. And what really disappoints me is that the ones that I thought were conservatives, I don't think they're conservatives anymore. I think um, if you are a conservative, you would not vote for somebody who says, you know, he, he goes around grabbing women by the pussy. But that's not conservative. That's just kind of, if you don't even care about that anymore, I don't know, there's some other agenda that is more important than that, but that's not conservative. That's just kind of, I don't know, you're scared of something, of somebody, of people that are not male, of people that are not white, of people that are not, I don't know, uh, straight, people that are not Christian. You're just scared of the world. You think like you're a victim. Like, really? Like, white people are, are victims? Like, just because you lost privileges? <sighs> but still, I remember how much I liked the place, Wichita, Kansas. How much I liked those people there. And, um, yeah, right now, I don't know what to think, really. Um, yeah, I'm just going to relax now. Stay here, I don't know, maybe one or two weeks more. Um... And then it's going to be back to Kazakhstan. I hope I can get the visa for Uzbekistan. That's going to be the next step. And um, yeah, then we're going to see each other again. Sorry about all the bad words. And uh, good luck to us all. France is going to vote in a couple of months. I'm scared about that. Germany is going to vote. I guess it's going to be all right. But yeah, I'm not really that optimistic. Peace.